find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh, check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Hello, Internet. Today is October 28th, 2014, and this is the Rambling Movie Minute, where we talk everything from movies from the week before, current, and still yet to come. On today's show, we'll discuss everything, basically comic-related everything that revolves around that. From Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, I am Malengo. Uh, at Rambling Mango, and as usual, we have Sorg of Sorgatron Media. That's right, up here in the studios in Pittsburgh, PA, ready to talk. I watched a movie today, so I made sure I was prepared for this show. Nice, and also our uh, NYC connection, Mad Mike. Oh man, DC's having heart attacks! (laughs) Let's just jump right into it, right? I mean... Before we jump into it, I guess I guess we should stay somewhat on track. DC is having a heart attack, but uh, in the box office, I, I I was surprised by this. I went to see Keanu Reeves. I'm just going to be crazy and do what I'm good at and kill people. Revenge movie, uh, which I enjoyed very much. Um, John Wick. I thought John Wick would do better than it did in theaters, and to my surprise, I forgot what month I was watching a movie in, and movies based on Ouija boards and Halloween themes decided to top the box office. Yeah. Did anybody go see any of these two movies? No. 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 I, I saw one of the movies in the top ten. I did not see either of those because I don't know what John Wick is about, and I don't give a damn about horror movies based on board games <laughs> uh ouija brought in just shy of 20 million so in grand retrospect of what movies have been bringing in on average for opening week this wasn't great um but to them it was probably good um john wick i mean john well, wick- i mean they, they must have made back their budget because a ouija board costs what seven bucks <laughs> Yeah, I think they said we're like, what, no-name actors? I would love, I should do the math. Uh, let's see. I would love to see how much. How many Ouija boards you can buy if they're weekend gross. <laughs> they're like, our budget only allows for like two Ouija boards, guys. You can't, you can't mess with these. Oh, uh, yeah, I can't. I, I should have looked this up. I would have loved to see how much their budget was for this film. Um, yeah, John Wick was, John Wick was okay uh, for what it was. But yeah, like I saw it matinee. No, I tried to see it matinee, and somehow I had the XD experience, which was extremely loud. Um, there was no reason for it to be that loud. But yeah, it's a matinee fun. This it's basically um, if the Matrix was was more mainstream. <laughs> if if the Matrix wasn't sci-fi. That that's you got the same role. Uh, that's Keanu Reeves just killing things, right? What what was it actually about? Is it just like he's like a an operative? No, he's um he's a, he's like a he's a hitman for hire who had retired. His wife dies, and the wife gives him a dog, the last gift, and this crazy Russian kid, spoiled kid, kills the dog for a car <laughs> and which brings John Wick out of retirement and he just goes ape crazy on the oh. whole Russian mafia. So basically this is an ASPCA movie. <laughs> was was in the arms of the angels part of the soundtrack. <laughs> Sounds like it should have been. 
<laughs> it's a fun it's a fun um yeah it's just a fun action movie there are some like of course you know once you start trying to poke holes in anything it yeah. becomes very easy but uh it doesn't sound like it's too deep no it's not oh my gosh no this is what the best what made this movie even greater is when you sit back and you say keanu reeves had no lines <laughs> like that's that's all you know it's <laughs> it's totally worth it like they like, they're just like look you just got to shoot people grunt a couple times maybe say one or two things here that's it okay look at, look at the camera and just shoot all right i was i did laugh uh a spoiler for anybody who was really interested in this movie uh the whole last 10 minutes is hilarious with fake rain um I'm sitting there with the person I'm with, and I'm like, they they had to use the fake rain. Like, does that really add? Well, I mean that all of Keanu Reeves's epic movies have to end in rain. <laughs> like, The Matrix ended in rain. Uh, um, pretty sure Speed ended with uh, the water barrels exploding, so it looked like rain. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Even I think the replacements had a rain of confetti. I'm uh, pretty sure about that. I'm pretty <laughs> sure even the replacements had a rain of confetti. So Keanu Reeves plus rain equals gold. Um, yeah. So I think this is I think this is hilarious. You know, uh, Mad Mike, this is episode fifty. Whoa. I know, right? We've we done made it to fifty. I, and, I, and I feel like a majority of our episodes have been centered around this one topic. Yeah. Marvel and DC. <laughs> Let's be fair. Marvel. <laughs> Let's be fair. Oh, man. The trailer for Age of, of, of Ultron. What, uh, what did you guys think? Sword, you can go first if you want. <coughs> Sorry, um, I thought it was tremendous. Um, of course, uh, it was supposedly kind of leaked out early-ish. I think it was supposed to premiere over the weekend in front of something. Well, um, sword. The reason it leaked out was because if you watch Agents of Shield, uh, Reyna released Agent Simmons's picture to all of Hydra, and I'm pretty sure that had the Age of Ultron trailer attached. Mm, to it. Of course, of so, course. Uh, but fantastic. It's all connected. It's all connected, Sork. It's definitely darker. They're showing more locations. Uh, this idea that the team was going to be split up a little bit. We got glimpses of Scarlet Witch and this version of Quicksilver, who we saw in the uh, uh, this past year's uh, 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 X Men Future, future past. Days of Future Past. Um, so uh, we'll see what they do with those with these these not mutant special people versions that they're going to be doing. Um, but no, I, I, it, it's got me interested. I want to see more uh, of it. Uh, I, I'm kind of curious what they're going to do with Ultron. Obviously, uh, for those that maybe uh, have read the Age of Ultron, there's a comic book series that was a summer event last year, I think. This is not that, which kind of lends to, and we'll get to it later in the show, uh, Civil War is not going to be what you read. and um, But still, it's, it's going to be a fun ride, I think. What do you yeah. think of the trailer? Let's stick with just the trailer for right now, Mike. I've got no strings to hold me down. I've never been more creeped out by Pinocchio in my entire <laughs> life. I swear, you know, when Disney took over Marvel, people were saying, oh, man, Disney's going to ruin everything. I think this might have been the only reason that Marvel was like, hey, I'm glad we're owned by Disney because now we can say Ultron was a puppet now. and now he's a marionette and now he's a real boy. But Jesus, that trailer, just everything about that, there's so much stuff in there. And the parody trailers that have come out are even better. I posted one on the Facebook group of instead of the I've Got No Strings to Hold Me Down song, they play the Celine Dion song from Titanic. <laughs> and somehow it works almost better. Almost better. Um, go to our go to our Facebook group, look at that, and just marvel at the sheer brilliance. I know you haven't wanted to hear that Celine Dion song in 13 years. Trust me, it's worth it. 
How about you, Malenka? <laughs> um, I will say when it started, I wasn't that impressed. Primarily because I felt like a lot of the shots were still shots that we'd already seen. So I was like, oh, well, they're just showing us the video version of this. And then they showed the beast mode Iron Man going up against Hulk. And I said, hey, now I'm intrigued. And they also showed the broken in half shield. Um, I also thought the uh, the narration from Ultron was rather intriguing. So with that being said, I am interested. Um, it definitely piqued my interest. But that could also just lead into, I mean, we could just go into it, this next conversation. Marvel released their lineup uh, today. And it, it it was interesting because it was in complete, you know, reaction to what DC did on Monday. I looked at the DC. So here's here's my train of thought. Like, sit down. Everybody's sitting down, right? Okay, good. So my train of thought of how this went. We talked a couple weeks ago about uh, Flash. You guys said, before you watch Flash, make sure you watch um, Get Caught Up with Arrow. I said, all right. So I started watching Arrow. They show me the first uh, inkling of Flash. I say, oh, I can't wait. So I watch the first episode of Flash while I'm still watching Arrow. I am loving both of what I'm getting. But in watching Arrow, I start to get hints, which make me interested in a lot of stuff that I saw that DC is deciding to release. And I'm thinking, do I really care? <laughs> I think there was this great argument um, or discussion that I listened to where I think we're getting overload of of the like part of me says this is cool because as as a kid, I loved reading comic books, you know, so this is just the video version of the comic books. I like movies. The other part saying, is this overload? And then with Marvel's lineup, is this extreme overload? Will there like, I know it's going to come down to basically the people that aren't fanboys of either of these. And that's what's going to determine, like, how this how this then ventures forward. But I feel like having this lineup so far in advance is kind of weird. I think it's, the you know, the spark interest. But I don't know. Like, uh, wh- what do you guys think? Like, are you were you guys excited about this? Does DC... I mean, I understand Marvel, DC are different identi- like identities, but like, I don't care about the Wonder Woman movie. I don't. I, I have no interest in that. I think they're going to mess up Batman, Superman, the Justice League. Justice League should have come first, like before we started, or like I don't know. It's just so weird. There's um, gangster. Oh, it's not Gangster Squad. What what's the other Suicide, movie? Suicide, Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. That's the one that I got the interest got sparked when uh when i was watching arrow and i was like all right that could be interesting but here's my here's my comparison between that suicide squad should have come out way before a justice league right and based on their lineup it's not and i feel like that the suicide squad is in comparison to guardians Guardians, and we already had avengers and well, that's I, not even the big blockbuster action heroes. Do we even know that Suicide Squad is in the same universe? I because I haven't read anywhere that it is. And the same thing of like like see the thing is of Marvel. Marvel released their big schedule today. They have Civil War in 2016. They have Doctor Strange in 2016. Guardians two, Thor three, and Black Panther in 2017, which is awesome. Uh, then you have Captain Marvel, uh, Avengers Infinity War Part 1 in, in 2018, and Inhumans in 2018, and then the end of Avengers Infinity War in 2019. That seems like they have a specific plan, and they know what they're doing with it, because you can even see the bits of Inhumans being started on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., because their stuff is all intricately tied in. Mm-hmm. DC like it's throwing shit out a wall and seeing what sticks when you think about the just the sheer amount of like here i guess what what like just makes me sit back and like kind of say how's this all gonna fall into place if any of these movies 
All right, for first question, if DC manages to mess up something, all right, do you think that the negative effect of whatever DC does will linger onto a Marvel movie? No, 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 no if no, no, nothing no. else, it makes it makes Marvel look that much better. Yep. If um, anything else, it's going to increase the gross of Marvel. Exactly. Because uh, Avengers it, probably made more money because a lot of people didn't like Dark Knight Rises. I, I think the issue here is like we have Marvel who has a proven track record and they're like, well, here's a plan. You, we came out two years ago and laid out the plan of like, you got Thor Dark World, you got a, a, a Captain America Winter Soldier, you know, uh, Avengers is going to be Age of Ultron and they stuck to the plan. Um, and they have a track record and they took something like Guardians of the Galaxy and they made it a hit. Everybody wants a baby Groot doll now, for instance, right? Spoilers. Yep. Uh, but DC is like, well, that Man of Steel, like Man of Steel was not a collectively uh, a celebrated movie to the effect nope. of any of the Marvel movies have been yeah, at all. True. Like too many people are like, this is not my Superman. Like this isn't that there, there's a difference between that's my Superman that I read in the comic to that feels like the Superman that I read in the comic, or that's that feels like the Superman uh, I know from Christopher Reeves. Right. Um, or even and, Tom Willing. And the problem is, I, I think the problem is the properties are too big for them to handle. And they continually, have dropped the ball or got okay ish with the ball in the case of the last Batman series. Right. I mean, I still don't, the Batman series as good of movies as those are, are not a good soup. Got not. They're the best Batman movie we can get, but they're not the best Batman movie we would deserve. Um, I don't even think it's the best Batman movie we can get. I would direct okay, you is to it, the anim, I would direct you to the animated full length version of Dark okay, Knight Returns. Okay, okay, let's not let, let's the animation's completely separate. Uh where Marvel is awesome in the uh studio thing, I think they're kind of subpar in a lot of their animation efforts. Uh a couple of series excluded. Uh but the like the movies they were doing straight to DVD for a long time were so bad. DC have just got it locked down. They they have their section, but you know, we were talking a little bit before the show about how messed up Hollywood is. This is this is WB is messed up that that studio I was telling you about that that Pee Wee Herman needed to go on a 21 uh, or 20 some cities tour to prove that he was still relevant because because they didn't have HBO in L.A. To get Big Adventure. That was Warner Brothers. Of course it was. So, I mean, Warner Brothers is not a I mean, they're 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 not a level headed movie studio that has somebody like a Kevin Feige that can say, we're doing this, this and this, and we can put all those pieces into place. Um, you need like a DC studios. Exactly. That's exactly Fair what enough. you need. You need comic book people to step up and say, we're going to do boom, boom, boom. You need Jeff Johns to head up this stuff. Look at what yeah. he's been doing with the, with the shows. I mean, I, 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 you know, once again, we have the the compartment of the cartoons doing really awesome. You, we were talking about, you know, Arrow and Flash with you, Malenko. Uh, uh, you know, those are doing pretty amazing right now, right? Yeah. Um, DC is kind of an interesting experiment, or I'm sorry, Gotham's kind of an interesting experiment, but still way better than a lot of other attempts. I would say Gotham, even if you don't think it's the best thing ever, still better than the last like average of five last dc superhero movies that came out oh yeah like i i, I enjoy gotham better than batman begins mm -hmm. uh, and just, i don't and i don't like gotham as much as a lot of other people do exactly mm -hmm. um it's just it's just an odd track record that's why we're kind of scratching our, head, our heads when we see this massive we got a plan just like marvel it's like we came out with the zoom just like the ipod um <laughs> it really is yeah. Well, see, the pro like the problem is when they made that announcement, like Marvel made their announcement today, it's literally all Marvel movies. When DC made the announcement, they're like, hey, uh, we're doing because Batman, Superman and Fantastic Beasts and Lego. Because like it's a Warner Brothers announcement. It's not right. a DC announcement. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. I mean, uh, like I, I was definitely thrown off by Suicide Squad because of that. I already talked about that. Like I said, Wonder Woman. I understand the appeal that some people have about Wonder Woman. I don't know that I would sit through a whole feature-length Wonder Woman movie. Well, that's because we haven't seen what Gal Gadot is going to bring to it yet. Yeah, I, I mean uh, that. That's the thing. Like in Marvel's slate that they're coming out with, they have one could be great, could kind of bomb movie a year. 
Like Doctor Strange is a completely new entity. We're not going to know what we get with that. Yeah. And Black Panther in 2017, he's going to be in Civil War, but Black Panther, a movie by himself, is going to be a complete unknown entity. The, the other random thing that once we get into like the Civil War, these stories, like it sucks because you know these stories are going to be limited by what by what they can portray on film. And like there have been a lot of people upset with what happened with The Hobbit that, you know, since what The Matrix did by splitting up the second and third movie, we've had that repeat. We had that with The Hobbit. We're ha- we had that with um, uh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Yeah, Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings. Yeah, but, so, I mean, and, and so Hunger we've Games. been seeing this trend. Yeah, Hunger Games, we've been seeing this trend. And, like, I just don't know if I'm going to be a fan of... Well, I Marvel's see always splitting up one. Oh. Uh, Mike? Mike, we lost your audio. Oh. You got so mad you knocked yourself off the internet. You're back, I think. Okay. Anger. <laughs> Marvel, so Marvel's mad. only splitting up one movie. They're only splitting up the Infinity Gauntlet. It, and to be books. safe, it's not an it's not a straight adaptation of a book. Yeah. Whereas every other case that you mentioned are adaptations of a book. For them, they're saying they're not they you there is no way they're going to sin city this and do a straight adapt, ad, adaptation of the Infinity War is impossible because of the way the cinematic universe is presented. That's why we're having a civil war. Uh, they mentioned the civil war is not going to be based on identity. So, uh, Mike, you talked about the Peter Parker angle with it. It wouldn't even be relevant in this version. Yeah. Age of a, Age actually, of Ultron. Age of Ultron looks nothing Disney, like what Age of Ultron was. Talk so with Marvel or. Uh, no, Disney. Who? Fox? So, Fox Sony. is in talks. Sony. 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 Yeah. Sony's in talks with Marvel to send out Spider Man as a loner. But honestly, I was thinking about it more after I made that comment last week. And with what you have going with the distrust in the government and in S.H.I.E.L.D., exactly. That's the way you can go with it. That is exactly the way you can go with it because you can have Captain America not wanting to be part of S.H.I.E.L.D., you can have him siding with the u.s government like hell i would love if captain america became like the secretary of defense or the secretary of department of homeland security or something like that something to the point where he's like we need to get these superheroes in line because of after the events of age of ultron we need everything happening Hmm. yeah i mean that would be a compelling story i just yeah i mean like I said, this is our childhood. This is basically the pages that we read on on paper coming, you know, full circle to the big screen. So for it just it just feels like Marvel has a plan. Yeah, uh, because I mean, they like, they connect everything. If if the DC movies were connecting with their TV shows, like if their Gotham was eventually leading into what would become Ben Affleck's Batman. Yeah. Or if uh, Grant Gustin oh, yeah. and, and Stephen Amell were going to be in the Justice League movie, I would have way more faith in DC. Yeah, no, I totally agree. The fact that we're getting a completely different Flash. The, fact, the fact that, that Flash Green Arrow's not even going to be in the Justice League. Yeah, the fact that we're seeing a Flash and Aquaman before we see the first part one of Justice League, I think it's completely weird. It's backwards. I mean, There's no build. That's my no problem. Sense. There's no build. Like, 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 yeah, I don't want another origin story from these guys. But then again, and, and I think the other uh, the other difference is how many origin stories have you seen of all the people listed on that WB list? Right. How many origin stories have you seen of Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, etc.? You haven't. <laughs> you haven't. Yeah. You know, uh, cartoon to cartoon. Sure. But even that, it, it just I think those characters aren't as overexposed as WBs. Well, mm-hmm. to be fair, I wouldn't mind seeing a Wonder Woman origin story. I wouldn't mind either, but... Because I have yet... The only version of a Wonder Woman origin story I've seen that's actually intrigued me is what they did in the Smallville comic. Mm-hmm. Other than that, I would, I'd be, I'm interested to see what a movie version of that is like. But apart from that, I mean... Are they just is Batman versus Superman going to be kind of the intro for everyone? Because that's what it seems like. Must be. Uh, maybe. I mean, if they base it on the on the animated movie, they yeah. could 
I mean, they're just just no, that. just go on. They're not basing anything off anything at this point. Yeah. What in the movies really took off of anything in the comics? I, I, okay, I know there's there's one story it did kind of, but not really. So, even <laughs> what? oh. Oh, Zack Snyder. I looked up uh, Zack Snyder's movies and I realized that I didn't like any of them. Um, on top of that, why are we bringing back Green Lantern? Uh, well, but, there, it's probably not going to be Hal Jordan. No. Eh. Hopefully. Uh, I, like, I, like, I, like I had said when we, when we were talking about before on the Facebook group, DC would have to announce like Idris Elba as Jon Stewart just to get some, just to get some sort of excitement for something down the line because they announced who's playing Black Panther, and it's Chadwick Boseman, the guy who played Jackie Robinson in 42. And that was who I was dreaming they would cast mm-hmm. as T'Challa. And that he's going to be really, really good, and I'm super excited about that. And he's going to be showing up in Civil War. So there's Wakanda is going to have an influence on the Marvel Civil War, and I'm very amped about that which is which is a big aspect from the comic book for those that haven't oh read yeah that's huge like and i think uh the age of ultron trailer showed uh andy circus who most people is think that he's playing ulysses claw which is the black panther's main villain so if that's going to be how we tie into civil war and how that t- bleeds over into a black panther movie bravo like, they're planting the seeds for a movie in 2017 in a trailer released in 2014. That's how on the ball Marvel is about this. That's how much they're planning ahead. It's patience. Um, yeah, it, certainly, certainly. Uh, it, it feels like because the we we you know on panel riot. Uh, I know the discussion. Uh, uh, Will is LB. Will what does he go by on there? Uh, he has been really big on the you know. Hey, they've been planting seeds of this and this and time travel across like several of their books for several years now and you know it's going to be a big event in like maybe two years three years um their marvel is patient with their big plans enough yeah. for something mm-hmm. like that and have gotten really really good at coordinating lately so i mean i don't want to keep like hammering on uh on wb and, and dc on what's going on but i mean even transitioning to like we're getting an awesome sequel with the Lego movie, right? <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, uh, d- just to backtrack for a quick second, all that being all us being said, Batman vs Superman could be legitimately awesome. Oh yeah, no, and it this would alleviate point? it would alleviate all fears. Yeah, we... like that's the problem. At this point, they are setting their bar so Listen, freaking high. This. This is like we have another what year before Marvel vs. No, we have two years before uh, uh, Batman Superman comes out. Mm-hmm. And so we're sitting here. We're like that guy, which is usually me, that's sitting there in line because you got that long, long wait in line for the roller coaster. And you just look at the roller coaster and you're looking at it so long to the point where you start looking at all the things that could go wrong with the roller coaster. <laughs> we're sitting in line for the roller coaster and we have another year and a half to wait. So mm-hmm. we're going to look at every every way it can go wrong to the point where we're like, I don't know if I want to go on this ride. Yeah, but that's the <laughs> problem. That's what they are setting up for themselves. Nothing can go wrong from this point. But whatever. In terms of their IP, what they're doing on the television show is still keeping me engaged, and I like that. I just know that that doesn't transition to the movies. And they already were going up against Avengers, right? And they, they pulled their date back. And now they release this list. Batman vs Superman has to be amazing, or I'm, else. By everything... the way, I'm pretty sure Marvel. I'm pretty sure DC is very glad that they pulled off of releasing the same day as Cap. Now, oh gosh, yeah. Because Batman vs Superman versus Marvel's Civil War <laughs> with the Black Panther. <laughs> I know what I'm going to see. <laughs> uh, I am not thrilled about seeing a Lego Batman movie. By the way. Uh, no, that Lego Batman movie is going to be awesome. That's the only Batman movie I'm excited about. <laughs> Have you played the video games, Willingo? No, I, d- I haven't. I haven't played the yeah, video games. Oh, uh, you need to play the video games. That's why you're not excited about it. The Lego Batman video games are amazing. Legitimately funny. 
Uh, they don't take themselves seriously. Oh. On a screen that, that DC has done in years. <laughs> it, it's so good. It's so, so good. I'm just going to have to take your word on that. <laughs> you know what you should do? Um, I believe on Netflix there is a Lego uh, DC superheroes movie. Okay. It, I believe it's on Netflix. Watch that. Because basically all the cutscenes from Lego Batman 2. It's really, really good. All right, I'll go check that out. Um, moving along. Hey, so we actually have other stuff other than Marvel and DC talk. Hey, uh, so they decided, speaking of Hollywood having no original ideas, that they were going to do an actual bio, uh, biography, 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 whatever, biography. Steve Jobs. So we're getting another Steve Jobs. The cool thing about the Steve Jobs is who will be playing Steve Jobs, Christian Bale. With that being said, I don't necessarily know that we have to do another Steve Jobs. I think he's an amazing actor, and it will probably be crazy, but I don't know. What do you guys think of this? Is this kind of just like whatever? Uh, well, well, this is the Aaron, Scr- uh, the, the, yeah, this is the Aaron Sorkin one, right? Yeah, this is the one we're waiting for. Like the the Jobs one that Ashton Kutcher put out really fast. There's a reason that was the money grab one. And it was so bad. This is going to be the Aaron Sorkin one where they're taking time. These are the people that did the Facebook, the social network movie. Um, this is this is the one we're waiting for. It's not a point of, ah, it's another Steve Jobs movie. It's like, no, this is the one we wanted in the first place, and we got the other one. Maybe you're waiting for it, Sorg. I, I don't Well, this care. is the one this is the one that's gonna be more based on the book about Steve Jobs. I still don't care one way or, one way or the other. Like, no, of I, course you don't. No, this this is yeah, more I'm, for my people over yeah. here that are the <laughs> Apple fanatics and tech tech people. Um, this is more a conversation for Awesome Cast. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, I don't know. I, I did watch the Ashen Kutcher movie, and I was like, it wasn't very good. This isn't good. I just I don't know. I guess you're right. Like maybe our audience isn't exactly for it. I I just feel like how much can you milk out of that? I don't even know who it benefits besides the fanboys of Apple. Yeah. Uh, it benefits. yeah. It benefits Apple. <laughs> I I guess so. Hey, um I wouldn't be surprised the next iOS update you get a trailer of the new Steve Jobs. Oh no. <laughs> just like they did with the U two album. Oh no. <laughs> By the way, side note, uh, go look for the apology from you two about that. <laughs> Have you watched that? No, it's that them. Amazing. They're sitting on some seat, like back to back to back, all four of them, and they both make, then they all make a comment apologizing for that, and, and like the the camera swings around where they're seated. <laughs> it's like they even like turn that into art. And oh, and are oh, and it's and, and are still I, if I recall are kind of in disbelief that they have to apologize for something like this. So it's ever since uh, I saw the Spider Man musical, I've tried to avoid anything related to you two. You actually saw the Spider Man musical? <laughs> I did. I did. And isn't it a requirement for living in New York City? <laughs> no. Um, no. No. Because no. I lived there, and I and I said no. All right. Wait. You lived in Jersey. That. that doesn't count. I lived in. Jersey City, which is that, not New that's York. That's not New York. That does not, not qualify. York, but it's a train stop away. Oh, was, a whole yeah, train no, stop. No, no, that's not New York. <laughs> no, just just stop. You lived in Jersey. Uh, you lived in Jersey. That me, doesn't count. Let me dream. You can't even use the same Metro card. <laughs> you, don't get, true. you don't get charged the same amount. <laughs> well... <laughs> No, I thought we did. I thought I did get charged the same way. Let's get back to movies here. Doesn't matter because all you New York people come out to Jersey anyway. Oh, no. No. Oh. (laughs) You're lucky we don't mute people on this stream. (laughs) Oh. Hey, tell me me about Scream, you guys. (laughs) Yeah, speaking of screaming. Um,. So, what if I told you MTV decided, hey, we have this great IP called Scream, 
and we are going to want to make a television show about it. How did they get it? Why did they get it? Is this because, like, is this the same deal that got them Teen Wolf? I have no idea, but I think <laughs> this is a horrible idea. I and get, I'm screaming inside. I was interested until you told me MTV was behind it. Yep, I'll be completely honest. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, that, that could be really interesting. MTV, nope. 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 I, I I would be interested if this meant Nev Campbell is coming back to television, but it's not. So <laughs> that would be the only redeeming value. <laughs> Unfortunately, nobody watching MTV would know or care. Yeah. Um. Did you guys see Scream Four? No. I don't. I don't think so. That's my point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw it. it. Actually, wasn't horrible, but uh, we don't need a TV show of this. Yeah. No. I want to see. Don't. I I am curious. Like, what is the the plot device that they keep going with this? Is it the entire thing like it just takes longer to catch this guy? You know, um, uh, every episode it's a different guy. It could be actually. Oh God! That Spoiler would be alert! Um, oh, that'd be so bad. It'll be like, and it's still never David Arquette. It'd be great if they did just turn it into no. It's David Arquette, and he still has the WCW championship. <laughs> Yes. So bad. So oh, Deputy Dewey. Bad. Deputy All Dewey, right. aka the law. I just made a Raid of Rumble and Scream reference with WCW. That's oh, that's uh, move on, please. We're going My downhill. We're going it. downhill. Uh all right, so moving on. Um yeah, I don't I don't care to talk about the last story. So let's move on to what we watched. What did you guys watch? What'd you watch, Mike? There's two mics. I know. I'm talking New York Mike. Oh, okay, me. Um, <laughs> your Jersey <Jizzy> Mike. <laughs> I got to see the Judge with Robert Terry Jr. and Robert Duvall. Oh crap! That means. Wait. Okay. Yep. I saw that too. Oh, good. We get a discussion. <laughs> uh, what'd you think of it? I actually liked it. I loved it. I. I it was a lot heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, definitely. Based on the trailer, but uh, man, it was really good. There were a lot of points that I, I was always like, man, I'm sure in some way, if somebody broke this down, they would say that Robert Downey Jr.'s character definitely did connect with the father. But like, I kept trying to like get that moment. Like, are they are they really like besides the last shot where like they're on the boat? Even then, I'm still like, I don't know if he like. I feel like maybe he did, but. I don't know. I would just hate to be. I would hate that relationship with my dad. I, I, I agree in that sense, but I'm still was more curious. They never tied up the B plot surrounding, um, <laughs> the, the 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 teenager. <laughs> they never really tied that up because I think that could have been a really funny scene. Um, for like an after credits thing. Yeah, that would have been funny. Even the uh the fact that his his actual daughter well, did the, at the well you at the in the airport. Oh okay, 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 yeah. And and he does the classic like, hey, that's Iron Man, like you know, just Robert Downey <laughs> Jr. type. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I, I've seen Downey in so much like um Iron Man and Sherlock Holmes related things. I forget that he is a really, really good actor. Yeah. Like, because he, he, he basically is Tony Stark. Like, just the real life man and mirroring Tony Stark without a giant suit. But Downey's so good. Like, he is really, really, really good in this movie. And Robert Duvall, who I'm not as familiar with because I didn't watch a lot of movies in like the 70s and 80s and stuff like that, but he was phenomenal in it. It's really, really good. Yeah. Um, and who's the uh, who's the guy that played uh, Law and Order? The the brother. Oh, I'm trying to think of what his name is. Uh, but also, I was surprised that Billy Bob Thornton was in it. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't see him in any of the trailers for it, and that was kind of a shock to me when he showed up. Uh, Vincent D'Onofrio, the guy who's going to be Kingpin. Oh, uh-huh, interesting. Yeah, I was gonna say I knew his name, but he, but yeah, he was really good too, and I'm still super excited to wait to see him in Daredevil. Yeah, I like him as a character actor, but uh, I mean that role he played like a, a weird 
role, but I still liked it. Yeah, that's a great movie. I recommend that to uh, anybody. I, where did you Where did you end up seeing that? Because I didn't think it was in theaters still. Oh yeah, it's it's up. Uh, I mean, I it's in theaters in Poughkeepsie, so okay. I assume, I assume it's in theaters everywhere then. Because if you play in Poughkeepsie, you play anywhere. Oh, no. that's, oh. that's not a saying. That's not a saying. <laughs> Uh, what about you, uh, Sorg? I actually watched Video Game the Movie today. This was the one, you're gonna love this, produced by Zach Braff, and they started it on Kickstarter. I put that in my Netflix queue. I haven't watched it. It's it. good. I had a moment. I, I think Shachi watched it and said it was good. Um, I think, uh, sure. going, I think going into it, I had heard, like, like, I heard it wasn't a very good documentary for some reason like it really is like if you're into video games it's it's really a lot of stuff you already know told in a very good way um and it is like kind of hey this is the broad history of video games hey this is what happened here this is the like here is the history this is what happened with graphics and then it goes back and it says um here's what happened with the uh crash uh, here's what happened with violence in video games. And again, very cliff notes, very MTV generation, you know, low intention span kind of do it way to do it. It's only about an hour and a half. Um, probably not probably just about an hour and a half. Uh, but they have so many people in it. Chris Hardwick, of course, is in it. Uh, it's actually, um, I think it was Sean Astin, I think is his name, um, from, you know, Rudy, Rudy narrates yeah, Sean it. Astin. Rudy narrates it. Um, it's got a lot of personalities in there. I know from from the internet uh, and 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 other like kind of higher end pers- uh, you know celebrities and stuff. Um, it seems like everybody from Scrubs is in here somehow. Sorry, <laughs> is everyone from G four in it? <laughs> uh, no, nobody that I recall from G four. Really, that's kind of surprising. Not like I don't um... remember seeing Kevin Pereira. Uh, I mean, the closest thing is the guy that was on call for help uh, uh, late late on uh oh i can't remember his name he's on, he's in my uh google plus feed all the time uh but he had a spot at the end too um it was it was pretty good it, it was um uh, they 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 talked with a lot of the developers um uh what's his name uh from from lionhead a couple guys from xbox when they they actually talked about how the xbox was like we have this idea for a direct xbox because direct x was the video game platform for uh microsoft where they kind of consolidate all the drivers to work together uh yeah. to kind of help that out uh for people who don't know that part uh they it, it's really good if you're always wondered like if you just like maybe if you you weren't around in nintendo days or something like that they got great old footage a bunch of old nintendo co- commercials they show off there uh they're showing like like like, you know, talk shows are like, this is a Game Boy and this is the hot thing that's not going to meet demand for this Christmas or something like that. Right. It's <laughs> uh, it, it's pretty fantastic. Pretty, pretty fantastic. Um, so I recommend it for a Netflix watch, of course, um, if, if you're into that or if you're just like want to know a little bit more about video games. Um, no, definitely worthwhile. So cool. Uh, other than that, uh, I did catch Constantine, uh, the premiere yesterday. I thought um only why only reading sparingly sparingly any of the original hellblazer stuff that is based off of and comparing it to the movie rendition of it um i think it's going to be a fun series um uh, i liked it so far it's it's it feels if you like grim if you like grim and sleepy hollow you're probably going to like this Grim's coming back. Yeah, Grim's already back. It popped up on ah! my feet already. Grim's so back. Exciting. Other than that, you know, watching the usual stuff, all the all the uh, superhero stuff that's on TV right now. Walking Dead's been tremendous so far this year. Um, Doctor Who, you know, all that kind of stuff. So uh, again, <sighs> Doc, Doctor Who and Walking Dead are the ones that I pay to see that are not on any of those service. Like I am paying out of pocket per episode for those things um, because I'm that into them. So, um, yeah. so that's pretty much the gist of that. Oh, and there's an a mini X Files marathon when I came back from work on Friday night. Is Doctor Who still holding up? Because I am very behind. Um, I'm still in that first season. And you don't like the Doctor mode? Mm. Talk to me around the Christmas special. Yeah, that's probably <laughs> what I'm going to binge watch it then. You should. I, I'm really curious your thoughts. Um, it seems like uh, I think Mike. I think we had this conversation, uh, or maybe it was Bobby, about how uh, they they're really big on the companion. My argument is because that's the your link to last season. So this is such a different Doctor. Um, yeah. So you know, versus when Matt Smith came in, it was a clean slate. We started from scratch. 
Um, and they, they told a really good story that lasted like two and a half years. So, um, so that's what I got. Uh, besides the judge, I did watch left behind. Um, I don't know on the religious side of things. Sure. But on the, is this a good movie that which one's, which one is left behind? Uh, this is the rapture one with, um, uh, what's his face? Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage. Yeah, Cage. How did you forget that? Uh, yeah, I don't know. General public, I wouldn't have spent money to see this. Uh, but that's that's me. Uh, uh, I you, saw you're, Hercules. You're, you're better off seeing Rapture Palooza, probably. <laughs> this movie, I mean, that well, that's a different argument or a different discussion. So I, I'm just gonna move on from that. If you, if you're into movies like Left Behind. Uh, like I said, from the religious aspect of it, I get. I think it's good for a conversation on the do you want to spend money to go see a good movie? Um, this isn't the one that I would recommend people spend money on. That's me. Hercules. Hercules was fun. I liked, I actually liked the idea of not the methodical Hercules. I thought that was an interesting take on it. Um with that being said, he doesn't really fight all these crazy monsters. I, I thought that was interesting, and because of that, I I thought it was okay. Um, that's one that I would have actually probably had people sp- like go see for matinee. So if you haven't seen it when it comes out in Redbox, definitely go check it out. Um, and then TV stuff. I've been trying to catch up with Arrow, and where I'm at, I am loving this show. So where are you? Where are you along there? What what part are you at? Um, I'm in the part where uh, I'm gonna butcher the dude's name, but the uh, ragu rag. <laughs> uh, ragu. Yes, ragu. Rash, ragu. It's in there. His daughter comes. I'm in that this, episode. This, uh, this Al Ghul. Yes, okay. his daughter comes. Uh, the one reason why I think I love this series is because of all the ties back into Batman. Yes. Mm-hmm. So yes. it's like. Yeah, and this actually just came back on this previous yes. week. On tomorrow night. Oh my god, shit's going to go down. I'm so excited for it. <laughs> shit's so, going to go down. So yeah, that's what I'm definitely enjoying. And then uh, Gotham, um, I I heard somebody had this argument where uh, they were very disappointed because maybe this was you, Mad Mike, but they were like, Gotham's just turning into like a joke. And I disagree. I mean, based on the things that are kind of like silly, I I can kind of say like, yeah, that kind of makes sense. But I kind of like the whole like the city's just it's just messed up. Mm-hmm. I but there's a way to do it without making it seem like it's so over the top. Like it feels more what it something with like Batman camp- being over the top. I no, man. But- yeah, but it feels like the campy seventies version. Mm. Like I'm expecting that kid to grow up into Adam West. <laughs> wow, <laughs> wow. That, that's what it feels like. Sort. You had a guy string up people by a balloon and hang them in the city, <laughs> and then he was also on Bad Judge this week <laughs> as an idiot. As an idiot. Uh, 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 you didn't watch Bad Judge this week um, because they're like he did this. He he held up a gun store with a knife. I'm like yes, and he's tying people to freaking balloons. <laughs> but I, uh, I mean, that's... I, I still like it. It hasn't hit the point of just like they. It hasn't hit the point of them reaching yet. No, no, like, no, no. I definitely like. This where is a it slow burn. This, this is a way slow burn on this one. I, yeah, I, I'm I, along heard, for the I ride. That, like around episode eight, Gotham changes completely. I didn't get to watch last night's yet, but. Where are we uh, five I, in? I don't, I don't know what that means. Does it change for the better, or does it change? No, no. Like, like a game, Like, like it's supposed to be a lot better. Like Batman Junior. Get... Yeah, you know, uh, Sorg. I swear, to God, if that happens, I'm putting a. Or maybe there. Jim Gordon's the original Batman. Ah, uh, no, but yeah, I like the way he keeps alluding to that the city needs something more than what he can offer. Hey, hey, hey! At least it's not Birds of Prey. Hey, Rotten Tomatoes still has the overall ranking for the series above the 90s. So, 
I mean, that definitely has to get better. Hey, uh, so the weekend throwdown. Um, I wouldn't really call it a throwdown. We got a redo, of, or not the redo, the original Saw. If It's Halloween, so people might go see that. Um, and cool. that's going up against before I go to sleep. But I, I don't I, care about. Can I can I say how much I love the first saw? No, that's the only good saw. Oh, no, I, I mean I enjoyed kind of the second one, and 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 then it kind of fell off from there. But um, like like I was invested in the second one. Uh, but when I feel realized what the series was going to be, I was like, mm, nope, we're not going to keep going with this. Um, Honestly, if you want if you want to see some good Halloween movies, save yourself some bucks. What's you know evil one and two? Hey, I'm very I'm very serious about that. Wow, wow. Uh, yeah, hey, I, about that. honestly, it's, it's, um, can I th- put put a throw out here? Um, all month they've been doing great stuff, but the Hollywood Theater here in Dor- or nearby in Dormont, um, at Thursday night they're actually showing the original Halloween in the theater. Nice. Um, and, and uh, Hollywood Dor- just a uh, Hollywood Dormont PA. Uh, in the Googles, you'll you'll bring it up. Um, we're actually um, for my wife's birthday. Uh, we're gonna go see Princess Bride. Nice. Yeah, I, I saw that pop up on the November calendar. I'm like, well, that makes sense because it's like one of her favorite <laughs> movies, and it's like two days before her birthday. I'm like, this is happening. Facebook you invites. Should, Let's you go. Also, you should also get her uh, Carrie Elwes' book. Book of, of it. Yeah. Well, uh, I already it's, it's a book about all the stories. I already, I think, for Christmas or her birthday a couple years ago, like accidentally got her the Blu-ray. <laughs> no, no, no. It's like it's like an audio book. Oh, there, okay. there's an audio book where it's the entire cast talking about stories. Ooh. Yeah. That could be fun. Anyways, um, and then but... I also, if you also want to see a really good Halloween uh, special on uh, ABC on Thursday, they're showing The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Yes. And who doesn't love I, The Great we Pumpkin? Bought, we bought all the, like, we bought a pack of peanuts. That sounds weird. Uh, oh the, my god, uh, you know what I just realized, Sork? Hmm. In the great span of Halloween and this DC-Marvel interaction, DC is Charlie Brown, and all they're saying is, I got a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Well, I can go yes. finish off the throwdown so you can get yes. out of here. So oh, that's it. The 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 big movie coming out is Nightcrawler. Jake Gyllenhaal is creepy and goes around with a camera and moves dead people. Not, and records. It's not the this Nightcrawler. This needs Alan Cumming in it. This needs Alan Cummings in it. It does. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It looks like it's going to be good. It looks like it's going to be dark. And it looks like it's going to be psychologically messing with everybody's head. So if you're into that kind of stuff, go see it. I'm probably going to not see this on the big screen and wait for it to come out in a little red box. Uh, but yeah, that's the weekend throwdown. So uh, Mike, you don't have anything to plug, do you? Besides your, we're not plugging anything anymore, right? You're asking me, oh, Extra Life was this past weekend, and yeah, we did it. Uh, we survived it. We raised uh, over $900. I think over 900 almost 950 actually. Donations are still open. If you go to any of the sites, orgatronmedia.com or any of the other ones, uh, there's still a link. You can still donate. And there's also video posted on my blog at, where did I put it? No. Where did I put it? Oh, on Insert Coins uh, 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 social media, you can see it. They should be in a blog post here eventually. Uh, the 24 hours in three minutes time lapse of that uh it was a blast uh go check it out uh we had a lot of fun we'll be talking about it on boss battle here this week on insert coin to begin.com or if you join us here in a couple hours here on the live stream um at live.sorgatronmedia.com so um so yeah that's what i got oh podcast pittsburgh is coming up uh, uh november 22nd 23rd podcast pittsburgh.com and we're always uh pretty involved in that nice what about you mad mike I have nothing to plug except my Twitter at MadMike4883. Tell me why you think DC is going to beat Marvel because you're wrong. And I will tell you why. <laughs> nice. And uh, definitely check us out and come to our um, Facebook group page where we have lots of fun and exciting discussions as well as we like to post up random stuff um so yeah definitely go join that group you can find me on twitter at rambling mango um and <laughs> oh and if you're going out as hall for halloween as any awesome movie characters post them to our facebook page oh definitely do that i'm being um, rick and ralph this year oh interesting i'm not gonna be anything 
<laughs> I like I, I like to go with uh, Jim from The Office. I had way too many Office references, but I'm going as name tag Jim. So there you go. Uh, but yeah, with that, uh, I hope everyone has a great week. And uh, until next week, have a rambling movie weekend. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Hi, everyone. Do you like video games? Do you like reading about video games? Do you like listening to podcasts about video games? Why don't you check out insertcointobegin.com? New articles going up daily, and you can check out our podcast, Boss Battle, on sorgatronmedia.com.